Today's game is coming live from still burning Los Scandalous Crazy Donia, where the Porsches are all paid for, everyone's big break is still coming, and the starlets say, don't worry, baby, it's only a cold sore. Both teams hit the field, ready to hit each other in this MFL matchup. The Motor City Maniacs battle the Los Scandalous Volts. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Hope you got your mutant tailgate buzz on. I know I did. The teams are revving up on the sidelines, and we are ready for some mutant football. Grim Blitzer along with Bricks and Bricks Jr. Yeah, Grim, I had a little high up at myself at the mutant bloodmobile park next to the taco truck outside. Called the lobotomy shot. Raccoon rabies blood and red bullcraft. Hoo-hoo. Yeah, I can tell your mouth looks like a hot shaving cream dispenser. And it's first and ten. down and the running game opens up for them and allows the passing game to be more of a threat gotta keep them guessing and it's first and ten uh, come on man you gotta catch that I don't catch anything Grim. I'm retired Second down and ten. And that's a run for no gain. Then it's not really a run, is it? Third down and ten. Oh, great play! He is on that receiver like glue. You know, when I was little, my dad used to make me eat glue. My tongue would get stuck to the roof of my mouth, and I couldn't talk. Your father was a very smart man, Bricks. Very smart. Oh, no good. Now that punter's going to find a cutoff bison head in his face. They let the punt drop, and it will be down by the defense. And it's first and ten. He was stuffed at the line of scrimmage. Second down and ten. for a first down. And it's first and ten. And that's some good old-fashioned downhill running as he picks up nine yards on the play. And that'll bring up second and one. Catch the ball, get the first down, and don't die. See, it's really a simple game when it comes down to it. And it's first and ten. That ball was almost intercepted. Second down and ten. And he snatches that one out of the air for a first down. 
see if they can get something going here. First down and six. And the defense gives up five yards there. Second down and two. Touchdown! Oh, he ran through those defenders like a crazy turkey. Yo, man, nobody can touch me when I roll. I take all you mutants out. That's right. What you talking about? Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. It's good. They need a good return here to set up the offense. And that's a returnable ball. Returnable? You mean he can get a refund for it? No, no, Bricks. It means he can return it for... You know what? Never mind. <laughs> First and ten. You've got to catch that. Second down and ten. the way to move the chains that's good for a first down this game is hmm i don't remember that being an officially sanctioned mfl rule <laughs> second down and a lot and the offense jumps off sides to kill the ref they say we're mad as hell and not gonna take it anymore Second down, and offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. Second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this. with the brain scrambler. Third down and long. Oh, great tackle. When his brain is unscrambled, he'll be thinking about that hit. First and ten. The ball man about a six-yard gain. Hey, do me a favor. My parole officer calls. I was with you last night, Bricks. No problem. I spent the night in lockup for solicitation. Just follow the bloody footprints to the new line. That's a first down. And it's first and ten. This guy's going to get mugged in the locker room by his team after the game. Second down and ten. And that pass is good for about five yards.
Third down and five. This is your brain, and this is your brain on Berserker. And the quarterback drills one in for the first down. First and four. And this game is up for grabs. First and four. Touchdown! Oh, he ran through those defenders like a greased turkey. point attempt straight through the uprights here comes the kickoff let's see if the defense can hold them not a bad kick but not a great one either well his nickname is lukewarm and he's proud of that yeah that's why he named his clothing company Warm threads. Their marketing team hates it. And it's first and ten. And he held on to that one for a first down. And it's first and ten. And the defense puts one over on the quarterback with a sticky ball, dirty trick. The only thing that he had nowhere to go and got nothing out of it. Second down and ten. I see this guy drop a lot of balls in the past, but I heard the quarterback threaten to throw him a real bomb if he dropped one again. You know, good communication is important. They run it for a yard. Second down and nine. Second down and more than the QB would like. Well, it looks like he wanted to run before he caught it. You gotta keep your eye on the ball. Come on, you dirtbag. You gotta make that catch. Third down and the punter is warming up. Refuses to go down. Oh, and the quarterback threads the needle for a first down. First down and one. Don't worry. If he shocks you to death. Oh, man, 
what a throw. And that was a perfect pass, and he scores handily. And this werewolf is from London, I believe, signed in the offseason. Yeah, I saw him at Trader Pink's hotel bar the other night. His hair was perfect. Better watch out. He'll rip your lungs out, Bricks. Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? He goes right through him. Yeah, like a double-stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Yeah, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Right. First and ten. If you don't hear it coming, it'll knock you. And he finds open spaces running toward the end zone. Turn on your jets, you son of a bitch. for four yards. Second down and six. Oh, mama! He just knocked him into the next time zone! Once he finds his head, he'll be okay! Third down and eight. And it's two minutes left in the half. I can't wait to the halftime show. Third down and eight. I mean, this a bomb kill right in someone's face. This your first time playing the game? Hey, you with the controller in your hand. I'm talking to you. It might make more sense to punt here than attempt a field goal. This is way too long. Goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. <laughs> Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. First and ten, and they've had enough. The offense jumps off sides and attacks the ref. <laughs> First down and forever. A nice run for five yards. Second down in a very lot. And they just popped his eyes in the back of his head. That quarterback can be hurting, or dead, or worse. See that move, baby? I'm the greatest. No, you didn't see that because I'm too fast. <laughs> uh, why are they stopping the clock for the offense, Grim? They're stopping it for their own offense. They're hungry for the ball, partner. The ball? The pigskin? Bacon! I'm hungry for bacon! That's a big game run on that. The defense has to make something happen here with one timeout left. You know, sometimes the best thing to do is just punt and let your defense get the ball back. Nice punt! 
Should move him back nicely. The return man catches the ball and heads upfield. Oh, with the punishing hit. And it's first and ten. And that pass play is good for eight yards. And timeouts are kind of like condoms, you know, Grim? You got to use them smart if you want to score. Let's see if they did. Second down and two. They go to the ground game and pick up the first. Nicely done. And the quarterback signals for a hurry-up offense. Hey, Grim, what's the hurry-up offense? It's a close battle as the quarter ends. Halftime is brought to you by those caring folks at Monsatan Industries. They make the world a better place by making the government tell you it is. Third quarter about to begin here. And these guys are locked in a nearly dead heat. I was locked in a dead heat under the covers last night when Brick started farting like a 4th of July fireworks finale. Ruin your world. I'm going to wreck it. Ghost. Ghost. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. And it's first and ten. when it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth knocked out like that, I'd have them made into dice, Grim. It'd be fun to gamble with my own teeth. <laughs> They've called a zap attack. Man, he just laid the wood on him on that one and knocked the ball out. He's at the 20. He's at the 10. Touchdown! And he rumbles that one into the end zone. Nicely done. I can't run like that. points and they're going for two. Bam! Gutsy run for the conversion. Hey man, nobody can touch you when I ball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. Hey. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. Fingers, he should have had that one. Second down and ten. Looks like a pass, and it's bouncing right back to the QB. Oh, it's the sticky ball, dirty trick. Ah, oh, pass the popcorn, Grim. Zoom in on his 
face, then his crotch. I want to see if he cries or pisses himself first. Third down, and the QB is saying his prayers. With the brain scrambler. And this field goal is certainly within the kicker's range. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. And it's first and ten. And the offense jumps off sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not going to take it anymore. First down in a mile. Five yard gain on that fast play. Hey, look at the coach. He's picking his nose. You know, they shouldn't put that on the Jumbotron. Seems like every time the camera shows him, he's either spitting, picking, grabbing himself in the privates. Hey, he should do it all at the same time. Now, that would be worthy of a Jumbotron. He is fighting for every, and he's able to grab that one somehow and hold on for the first down. This guy has a nice set of hands, Grim. It's the third set of hands he's had so long today. Looks like it's a good fit. And it's first and ten. And it's first and ten. And the defense really needs to stop here. And it's first and ten. Burners after that catch and scored. Nicely done. Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. It's good. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. Looks like he'll be able to run this one back if he's not terrified for his life. He is, but he's got no choice. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Sandwich. Second and three. down and five. Well, he just heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a peck ahead. Get the ball, asshole. Hey, asshole up here. Talking to you. And he 
Hogan put all of his foot into that one. Nice catch, and he turns on the afterburners. Pump returners in this league have a life. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. And it's first and ten. Sure, now he catches it. I had this guy on my fantasy team last week. I lost so much money on him, not to mention my kneecaps. My loan shark is very anal about collecting my money on time, Graham. And it's first and ten. That's a nice catch for five yards. Second down and five. And that brings us to the end of the third quarter. They'll need to fire on all cylinders to make a comeback in the final quarter. Second down and five. Explode and the defensive player got blown to bits. <laughs> Third down and five. And this guy runs angry and runs hard. First down. And it's first and ten. And that is caught for a first down. And it's first and ten. And the QB might as well just bury himself now because this oh, that was a big hit. Hey, Brick, I bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. Ah, uh, let's see. About a quarter after three, Grim. But my watch is a bit slow. Second and three. point attempt it goes right through yeah like a double stop burrito from taco hell the home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air scoring makes anyone confident it certainly does bricks it certainly does high five First and ten. Don't you just love the sound of bones snapping and cracking? I mean, when they're not yawn. And it's first and ten. Well, one yard is better than nothing, but not by much. Second down and nine. That's the way to move the chains. That's good for a first down. This game is... They might consider calling a kill the ref play. Just saying. Second down and long. Offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. <laughs> Second down and ain't gonna happen. 
partner. If he had getting killed by a chainsaw, he And the ground game is starting to soften up the defense. First down. Hey, you see that move, baby? No, you didn't. You know why? I'm too fast for you. I'm the greatest. The greatest, I tell you. <laughs> First and ten. Oh, devastating hit! You ever get hit that hard, Bricks? Yep. Third grade. Sister Mary Margaret and our ladies of holy hell. I thought it was brass knuckles, but it was just a regular knuckles. You ever get hit in the head with a boat all grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. Second down, the size of Brick's wiener. Hey! Sorry, partner. And into the end zone for a touchdown! Once he got his hands on that pass, he was off to the races. <laughs> Man, are these guys greedy or desperate? Either way, they're going for two. Kicker's going to have to kick the ball just right so his team can recover it. And they run it for a couple of yards. And it's first and ten. First and ten. And there's an eight-yard catch. Chipping away with those medium passes. I like it. Like a patient prison break. Second down and two. remaining in the game. We'll be right back, folks. Jeez, can this game take any longer? I got a date with Hot Wanda after this. Junior, I told you that girl's nothing but trouble. And I don't think that's a mole on her lip either. And into the end zone with a burst of speed. I think he's more of a downest guy than a speed feet, Grim. He's running from his team, it's clear. Yo, seriously, man, you think you can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with me? I will wreck your world. You understand me, Junior? I'll wreck your world. And they line up for the extra point. And the kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. He sets up for the return. Let's see if he can break one wide open. Oh, and he 
just left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be opposite day because he's the one who just got wiped out. First down! I've seen this guy drop a lot of balls in the past, but I heard the quarterback threaten to throw him a real bomb if he dropped one again. You know, good communication is important. And, it's, and they stop the clock with their first time out to try and stay in this game. Oh, nice coaching move there. Hall of Fame caliber. Well, I mean, it's a pretty standard coaching move at this point of the game. I won't listen to this blasphemy. Nicely done for a first down. offense there is no huddle so neither team can put their players on the bench oh and did he just put on a display there touchdown see that move baby i'm the greatest no you didn't see that because i'm too fast <laughs> And these guys think kicking is for pussies, Bricks. They're going for two. Yeah, they got big balls, Grim. Yeah, bigger than yours. And they run it in for two points. Oh, seriously, man, you think you go toe-to-toe -to -toe with me? You get my grill, I'll ruin your world. Ruin it. Looks like they're lined up for an onside kick. Uh, I thought they were going to do some sort of chorus line. And that, ladies and newtons, is how you recover an onside kick. The offense wants to speed things up, so it signals a hurry up. Yeah, save it. Bridges' ex girlfriend signaled when they were doing it. Yeah, she called it rabbit sex. I took it as a compliment. They've got one more timeout left, but they've stopped the clock. Why don't they just take the batteries out of the clock, Grim? That would make more sense. And the quarterback signals for a hurry up offense. Hey, Grim, what's the hurry up offense? There's no huddle. The offense calls plays at the line of scrimmage and plays really fast. Why would they do that? How many times do we have to explain it to you? It saves the clock, dumbass. If you can't get the sack, that's the next best thing. And the quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense and calls all the plays from the line of scrimmage from here on out. And that is a big gain. You know the defense wants some payback after that. The offense has an up. And that's the last time out. They can't stop the clock anymore. Can any of us really stop the clock, Grim? I mean, when it comes right down to it, are we not all united by the constant reminder of our own mortality? Of that's constant relentless advance? If only it was as easy as telling them, time out. And he catches it for a touchdown. What a beautiful play. Yeah, it's almost poetic, Grim. Like a haiku. Hey, man, nobody can touch me with an eyeball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. Hey, what you talking about, Pop? I like this. They're going for two. Bam! Goofy run for the conversion. move baby no you didn't you know why because i'm too fast for you i'm the greatest the greatest i tell you <laughs> the onside kick is a desperation play but it's their only chance at this point to steal a possession stealing ain't right grim it just ain't right 
The four people on the planet who care about rules and kickoffs must be happy to see a flag down. I'm just happy to see anything after that laser pointer accident. <laughs> Looks like they're lined up for an onside kick. And he gets three yards on that run. First and ten. And he just slipped away like that's a gain of ten yards. And the Los Angeles Volts take the win today. They handed the opposition a crushing defeat with a two-point win. Man, talk about a close one. Speaking of close, do you ever wonder why razor blades need fine blades? I get a close shave just fine with one of those cheap travel razors. Don't you, Graham? No idea what you're talking about. Let's hear what the MVP has to say about this victory. I'm a house camel on camel. I don't want to camel on camel. Britton Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. and all the folks at Evil SN want to thank you for watching this presentation of the Mutant Football League. Today's game was brought to you by the Hexon Oil Corporation. We drill it, spill it, and kill it so you...